Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm sorry. But this thing is way too powerful for anyone to wield. We gotta destroy it. Baldi. <laughs> he is lost to me. The forge is destroyed. Because of him! Once we get off this planet, I'm going to leave the Guardians. If I'm alone, the only one who can get hurt is me. This is my chance, Peter. To protect my new family. Like I never did for Hovat and Kamaria. Tell me what I have to do. My family will be proud. And I will tell them of my best friend, Peter Quill. Peter, where's Drax? I just thought we had a leader who would fight for us. All of us. I ain't happy about Drax being gone, but I am happy to still be breathing. Thank you for freeing me and teaching me that the loudest shouter is usually the most correct. But I must go. The galaxy may need guarding, Peter, but not by us. Gamora, wait. It wasn't me who did this, Peter. It was you. Next up, is your Codex device <sighs> making you sick? A new study... Eight or nine test. rounds. Uh, then we find Ha. We have some breaking news. Reports are flying in about a violent Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. Hey, Pete. I found her. Earlier today, reports came in of a deformed monster rampaging across the galaxy, attacking planets at random. It appeared as if the creature was able to draw life out of innocent bystanders without even touching them. I will hunt you down to the ends of the galaxy. I shall destroy nowhere! Then I will continue to Earth! There will be no home for you anywhere! Death is coming, Peter Quill. Holy crap! I can't believe the team just ditched us when we've got this planet nuking lady to deal with. Perfect timing! Now we gotta deal with Hala as a death monster with a gun that can blow a hole in a planet. On our own. Oh yeah. We are so screwed it's not even funny. It's kind of funny, in a fatalistic sort of way. Guardian's gone. Drax dead. And Hala just seems to be getting stronger. Yeah, the last couple of days have gone from being a pile of crap to a pile of crap on fire. <sighs> but even with all that, just want you to know, I believe in you, man. I mean, you always figure something out. That's why I stuck around. You can't blame a guy like you for trying. Thanks, Rocket. Really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, you gotta believe in something. And you're the closest thing to me right now. There's only one way we can stop her. We need to get the Guardians back together. Peter! We have to get the Guardians back together! Groot? What are you doing here? I am Groot! Well, look what the cat dragged in. I thought you quit, Mantis. There was no cat. We dragged ourselves back. I am Groot! Oh no. This is worse than I thought. I could sense that remnants of the Forge still existed. They must be inside of Hala. It appears where the Forge granted life, Hala can now take it. With every life she claims, she'll gain more power. We're doomed. Are you friggin' kidding me? I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Oh, great. This just keeps getting better and better. There's nothing better about this. The Eternity Forge is highly unstable. 
It would be extremely toxic to Hala. It's likely that she needs to kill to keep herself alive. So you're saying if she stopped killing people... The Forge would consume her. I am Groot. But you have seen what she has become. Hala is too powerful a foe for the Guardians to take on. We took down Thanos. We can totally handle Hala, right guys? <laughs> guys? I am Groot! But the Guardians are broken. I don't see a world where you can actually defeat Hala. And when you were together, you all hated each other. I can't imagine a time when you didn't hate each other. Oh, whoa, whoa, Mantis, that's not true at all, right? Come on, guys, help me out here. Look, Mantis, you didn't see us at our best. I am Groot. Wait, you want to do what? Groot wants to show us something. Me, man, I'm innocent. You got the wrong guys. Oh, you mean to tell me there's another rodent and tree duo out there? Yes. Who were scanned and ID'd by several bystanders. Yes. And caught red-handed. I'm telling you, I just got one of those faces that looks guilty. I am Groot. Yes, yes, we know who you are. Forget it, Groot. These bucketheads can't understand you. Don't worry, I know how to handle this. As soon as they lock us up, I'm gonna go up to the biggest, baddest dude in there and knock him out. Oh, oh boy. Hey! I did not know this was an animal prison, too. Or perhaps you are my meal. You would hardly be satisfying, though. I am Groot, and I am Drax the Destroyer. Do not attempt to challenge me. I will tear you limb from limb, or snout from tail, whichever would be more painful. I challenged you. I'm still here. That is because you cheated. You had a weapon, and I did not. You take it easy. <laughs> Knock it off. All right, all right. Make room for one more. Hey, don't get too comfortable. We'll be back to take you to permanent lockup soon. Who is this loser? Call me... Star-Lord. I'm sure you've all heard of me. Especially you. Definitely not. No. Nope. Mm, I am Groot. I don't know. I can't take anyone with facial hair seriously. Nice to meet you, Groot. What kind of tree are you? Spruce? Elm? I am... Groot. Yeah, you already said that. Hmm. I could tell you guys are the real badasses in the room. Legendary outlaws like me. Oh. Not you. Uh. We're too good looking to stay locked up in here. What you think? The second the Nova Corps start running background checks on us, none of us are ever going to see the sweet light of day again. I don't know about you all, but I got an amazing eventful life out there that I want to get back to in, oh, say, five minutes ago. I am Groot. And I'm still Star-Lord. Look, so here's the deal. We're breaking out of here. I'm not going anywhere with any of you. Settle down in there. All of you. I will not settle. No prison can contain me. 
I'll go gladly if this giant ass won't be there. My ass is the correct proportion for my body. It is 100% pure muscle. I don't need to hear about your ass muscles. I am Groot. I'm sorry. Do you want to go to prison? I am already in a prison. But perhaps you are right, mustache man. I just came up with a brilliant plan that's totally original. I'm calling Can't it... Wait to hear this. The Great Escape. You see that guard there? He's the only one with the key card to get us out of here. But there's no way we can get to it. So we gotta escape another way. There's a force field all around us, but not mm. below us. And that's where you come in, muscle man. Hmm. I agree to this nickname. You are gonna use those beefy mitts of yours to dig us a tunnel to the other side of the force field. Beefy mitts? We don't have anywhere to hide all the debris, so this tree... Well, we're gonna have to eat it all. And once we're over there, that's where you come in. Gadget guy. Uh-huh. You're little and adorable. You are gonna use those baby mitts You rooks? <gasps> I'm not gonna lie. A couple of you might die, but know that I will never forget you. Or we could just use the key card. I love this tree. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friend- Escape! You were going to say escape. Friendship. I was going to say friendship, but escape will do. up together. I never knew. You're not a team, or a family, or friends in the conventional sense, but somehow it works. Yeah, it was all the mustache. Peter, I don't think that's it. I don't know, Mantis. I... I really think it was the mustache. It was not the mustache. We've all forgotten how much we need each other. But we can still be like that again. We're the guardians of the galaxy. It's time we start acting like it. Then let's go get them back. I am Groot! I am Groot! Okay. Just gotta find Gamora. It's anyone's guess where she is. She's still an assassin. She'll know where to go if she don't want to be found. Mantis, you were able to track down the shrine using your abilities. Do you think you could find one of us too? I can usually only sense someone who is nearby. But I may be able to extend my range with your help. I am Groot. I have an idea! What? You're going to love it! É, eu tava gravando aqui o episódio 5, deu um crash. Vamos ver se eu consigo continuar de onde eu parei. Uma pena. Perdi toda, todo o áudio. Meu áudio, né? O áudio do jogo não, mas perdi o meu. Vamos ver se dá certo agora. O jogo crashou. Eu acho que eu tô com... Minha placa de vídeo tá precisando... Tro... Tô precisando trocar minha placa. Deve ser isso. 
Porque crachar jogo da Telltale com uma GTX 960... Where are we? You and I have merged minds. This is inside my mind. It seems kind of empty. I've never shared this with anyone before. And you didn't die or anything. This is amazing. I wasn't sure it would work, but it did. Next time, would you mind giving me a heads up first? Oh, I'm sorry. I just got a little excited. This island here represents your subconscious mind, Peter. And those other islands represent your friends. Gamora could be anywhere in the galaxy by now. In order to find her, we'll need to build a bridge. A uh, bridge? Yes, a bridge of feelings. I won't be able to do it myself. I'll need your help. Yeah, uh, I don't get it. But I'm willing to go along with it. My abilities as an empath will allow me to translate your emotional connection to the Guardians into a physical connection. If we can reach your friends' islands, we'll learn where they are. Now, I need you to concentrate very hard. When you think about the Guardians, what emotions do you feel the strongest? Qual emoção eu sinto mais forte? Quando eu penso nos guardiões. Frustração não, preocupação não, pena não, com certeza. Amor sim, raiva às vezes, normal, orgulho também. É uma dessas três aqui. Ou eu, as mais fortes acho que seria orgulho ou amor, então vamos lá. Oh, what the hell was that? On this plane, emotions are able to take physical form. Those are memories that you can connect to with your feelings. If we focus on your emotional relationships with the rest of your team, they will be easier to find. Olha que interessante. Pelas cores você meio que identifica quem é quem aqui. Drax. Drax verdinho, Rocket. E a Gamora. You're the one who's gonna keep us from falling apart. You're doing well, Peter. I'm beginning to sense Gamora. O Rocket já tá com a gente, né? Não sei por que ele apareceu aqui. I can get her back, Pete. If we charge the forge, we can revive Lila. E aqui o Drax. This is my chance, Peter, to protect my new family. That's curious. Your bond with Drax is very strong. But I don't understand. You You can sense Drax, but Drax is dead. I can't explain it. But I can certainly feel his presence through your emotions. You've told me how you feel about the Guardians. That's good. But in order to find your friends, I'll need more. How do you think your friends feel about being Guardians? Olha, a palavra ideal aqui seria se sentir como em família, né? Porque família você às vezes odeia, você quer que suma. E ao mesmo tempo você daria a vida por alguém que você ama da sua família e tal. Então eu não acho que puto seria a palavra. Feliz é muito simples. 
Arrependimento acho que não, irritado às vezes, orgulhoso também às vezes. Eu acho que conflitante seria o, o sentimento mais próximo. Só que eu não sei se esse conflito aqui se refere a sentimento conflitante ou a brigas, porque aqui a gente está dependendo da legenda, né? E eu não sei se a legenda está correta. Uh, de ser um, um guardião, o que, que eles sentem em ser um guardião, acho que eu vou botar aqui. Começar com a Gamora, eu comecei a última vez com ela. É sentimento conflitante. Eu não sei porque que o Rocket tá aparecendo. O Rocket já tá com a gente. Even the things that reminded me of my beloved Kamaria and Hovart. This is very unsettling. But please keep trying. You're doing great. I didn't think I was actually capable of feeling this many emotions. I'm so deep. Let's just try once more. You and the Guardians have had so many amazing adventures. How would you describe your happiest moment with them? Meus momentos mais felizes foram orgulhosos, incríveis, heróicos ou razoáveis. Foram incríveis. I think that's enough. If you explore all these memories, we should have what we need to build our bridges. Vamos lá, começar pela Gamora. Ah, esse é o Drax. Yes. Drax is back. If Drax is somehow still out there, your feelings can lead us to him. Eu criei uma ponte para o Drax. Hey, I was surrounded by a door. We did it. I still can't believe we did it. Thanos is gone. There are so many contrasting emotions that you feel towards Gamora. Agora por último, Rocket, não menos importante. Hey, I was surrounded by adoring fans. I couldn't let them go thirsty. Your emotions towards Rocket are extremely complicated and varied. Entendo por que está aparecendo o Rocket se ele já está com a gente, mas enfim. Para mim, a cola que gruda os Guardiões nesse momento vai ser o Drax. Porque todo mundo está muito triste que ele morreu. E se eu apareço com o Drax, vai todo mundo ficar extremamente feliz. Eu fiquei muito triste com a morte dele no episódio 4, mas alguma coisa me dizia que ele não estava morto. Algo me dizia que ele está vivo e está dentro daquela minhoca. Minhoca maldita. Então eu vou atrás dele.
this is... What the hell does this mean, Mantis? It means Drax is alive! And it means you left him for dead. Poor Drax! He must be so lonely! No. No, there is no way he could have survived back there. Apparently there is. This proves that he's alive. We wouldn't be able to locate him otherwise. The others will be so excited that he's still alive. His sacrifice caused so much turmoil. Hopefully this will repair what was broken in your team. Okay, I you know where Drax is. But we're not done here. Keep looking. Bom, o Rock deu seu de estar, não tem o que procurar no Rock. Vou deixar ele por último. Vamos aqui para Gamora. Cara, que massa que o Drax está vivo. Been here. This is Thanos' training room from Gamora's memory. Gamora hated her father. Why would she go back? We all created the Guardians because none of us had anywhere else to go. This is the only place Gamora could think to return to. She might have unresolved feelings attached to this place. Rocket stayed with us, so that island will probably show us the Milano. I'm proud of you, Peter. You did well connecting with your emotions. I know it couldn't have been easy for someone such as yourself. Not everyone can connect with people as easily as I can, but I am an empath, so that is to be expected. Uh, thanks. Guess I'll take that as a compliment. You should. Because you are so emotionally inept. Yeah, I get it, Mantis. Thank you for clearing that up. So, I guess we just have to pick him up. Who should we get first? Drax. Drax is a cola. Let's go grab Drax. Let's go. Drax is a cola. E ele se sacrificou pelos guardiões. Não tem outra, não tem outra escolha. Para mim, no momento, eu não consigo ver outra escolha. What about that giant creepy worm thing? If it's still alive, I'm getting the hell out of town. Don't worry. If Drax is alive, I got money on that thing being dead. He actually did it. Drax! Holy crap! You, you did, that worm was, that was, you came out of it. Like you were inside it and then you, you came out? That's amazing. You doubted me, Peter Quill. Now what's wrong, man? You look pretty down for a guy who just defied death. I was merely reflecting on the circumstances. The creature did not give up easily. Our battle raged for hours. I felt... proud. But I think I was happier butchering that hideous worm than when I got revenge on my daughter's killer. How could that be? I cannot find a reason for it. That worm has no importance to me. How can this battle mean more to me than ours against Thanos? Revenge doesn't bring you happiness. It just delays the pain a while. It's about what you want, not what you need. That is incredibly wise. I am not used to hearing such wisdom from you, Peter. 
In the midst of battle, I felt such exhilaration and nothing else. I spared not a single thought for Kamaria. I think I am afraid that with each passing moment, her memory will continue to disappear. I fear that once I forget, Kamaria will die a second death. These feelings will not stop. I do not know how to proceed. You're going through some really heavy stuff, Drax. It's okay to be afraid. I have never faced a problem like this. One I could not simply kill. Oh, if only I were dead. These feelings would not cause me such distress. No matter how hard I try! Okay, I know you wanted to die. But that kind of attitude, it's not healthy. You need to give up on this ridiculous death wish. Death is the only solace I thought I could find. I was not completely honest with you before. I did wish to protect the Guardians. But part of me hoped that I might see my daughter again in the afterlife. If such a thing does exist, I do not know. But the thought of reuniting with my family... You can't escape that fate forever. Eventually you will see her. But that doesn't have to be today, Drax. Perhaps it is enough to have something to look forward to. Thank you, my friend. I feel more sure of my path forward. Hey guys, it's all clear. Bring the ship down. Now, let us return to your garbage heap of a ship. The galaxy is counting on us to stop Hala, and I have wasted enough time beside this rotting carcass. Hey, it might be a garbage heap, but it's our garbage heap. <laughs> Most of that garbage is yours, Peter. Expecting any calls today? Starlord! Nossa, o gritinho dele foi ótimo. But there is nowhere you can run to now. You and your guardians will suffer greatly for what you have done. Uh, sorry. I don't recognize this number. Who is this? You know who this is. Hala the Accuser! You have stolen everything from me. I will kill everyone you've ever known, everyone you've ever loved. You're unbelievable, Quill. I am Groot. Yeah, you said it. Did Hala always look that... gnarly? It's as I said. The Forge is taking its toll on her. Yeesh. If she's coming from nowhere, we've got a hustle. Keep the engine running. I'll be back soon. Don't you think Gam's gonna be a little pissed at you? And what are you gonna say? Meh. I'm sure I'll think of something in the moment. Word of advice, Pete. Think harder. Gamora? You've got some nerve. Following me here, of all places. I told you I was done. I'm not in a very charitable mood, Peter. Leave. Or I'll make you leave. Or are you here to fight? <laughs> I won't go easy on you. Whoa, whoa, there is no need for violence here, okay? Let's just... let's just talk it out. I've said enough! Ah! Whoa! <sighs> you said you'd keep everyone together! Hala is 
more powerful than ever. Now Drax is dead! Drax isn't dead! What? Why didn't you open with that? <laughs> Drax, Eu falei... Alive? Eu falei que era cola. mentioning it before? I was working up to it. Work up to it faster next time. He was devoured by that thing. You said he was gone. I thought he was, but he's not. He killed that space worm and is now hanging on the Milano with everyone else. Drax is back to his well, his uh, his normal self. Ah! What? Ugh, I just don't get it. Why does everything just work out for you? No matter what you do, everything just conveniently works out for the great Star-Lord. You call this working out? The Guardians are scattered, Drax nearly got eaten, you almost killed me two seconds ago. Oh, and Hall is out to destroy the galaxy because of me. But despite that, we're all unscathed. So Drax happened to survive, but you told him to sacrifice himself, knowing full well that it could kill him. Can't you even pretend to be bothered by that? Show me something, anything, at least some semblance of remorse. You're asking if I feel bad? Of course I feel bad. Then why won't you show it? Hey, what do you want from me? You want me to wander around crying? That isn't my style, Gamora. You shrug through everything, free of consequence, while I... I feel punished for merely existing. I've done so many horrible things. I fought. I tortured a little girl. All because I was too scared to stand up to Thanos. And now, my sister is dead. I'll never be able to forgive myself. You made a mistake coming back, Peter. I can't help anyone. Nebula made her choice. Her death? It wasn't your fault. <sighs> Rocket pushes people away to hide his pain. Drax revels in his rage. But I don't know how to get past it. All the lives I've ruined. I've hurt so many people. Despicable acts I did to serve Thanos. You haven't hurt me, Gamora. Ever. Everyone that gets close to me winds up hurt. If I go back with you, I'll just make it worse. I don't even know why you bothered coming here. Gamora, I came here because I... Because I missed you. Peter, I... I missed you too. I close my eyes at night, and I'm right back here. I'm that frightened girl, unsure of what or who to trust. I want nothing more than that pain to be over. You have to forgive yourself, Gamora. It's the only way you can move forward. Right. You're right. 